Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have Mastiff with uh, the Tier 9 British Tank Destroyer, no not the Tortoise, the Conway, the FE4004. Conway, uh, the little brother of one of my personal favorites, uh, the FE4005, which is just like, it's it's an amazing vehicle at Tier 10, that you should all go and get right now. Like, stop the video, go and get the FE4005. Anyway, anyway, uh, Mastiff is going to go with a rotation device with vents and with a gun rammer, all standard, nothing special, no bond, no bounty, on a red shire in counter battle as a top tier against some tier 8 vehicles and some knights as well. Um, yeah, APCI is not the standard round, if anyone is wondering, this is the goal rounds on this uh, Conway. Uh, yeah, switching it doesn't make it the regular rounds, right. Um, so, Massive is going to use a lot of goal rounds in this, uh, in this replay. And they're just going to use it to, to great use, so I guess it is fine, right? Going to show you exactly how deadly this vehicle can be when people just decide to sit in front of it for absolutely no reason. Um, surprisingly enough, Massive is using the smaller gun, the 120mm caliber gun, which has less um, alpha damage. It doesn't have the Hesh rounds that the second gun has. Maybe it does have Hesh, but like the... Um, Okay, high explosive. Thank you for the detailed description. More gaming. <laughs> um, I guess it is hash because you can see the penetration is really high. What was it? 120, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yes, for 515 damage, but it's not the chunky 770 damage hash rounds, if I'm not mistaken, with the bigger gun, the 140 ish. Like 5.5 inches, so it's a 139, maybe, um, millimeter. Something around those areas that does have very, very high hash damage, kind of like getting you ready for that FE-45 at tier 10, which you should be firing gold with most of the time, because it just does so much more damage when you're able to penetrate. Um, but yeah, Massive gonna use the smaller 120mm kind of a gun in this round on Venture and ah, the, the AP is just delicious over here. So, what is the difference between those guns, right, except for obviously the hash rounds that I was talking about just a second ago. Well, the smaller gun actually has way better, there we go, gun handling. Um, it has higher DPM unless you're actually able to penetrate the hash rounds with the second bigger gun. Um, but if you fire the regular rounds with the second gun, then the DPM is worse than on the first one. It has better aim time, has better dispersion, um, it has better, my goodness, traverse speeds. It, I think this one actually also can rotate the turret all the way, like 180 degrees, right? But the second gun, the bigger gun, can only do 90 degrees left and right, um, kind of like the FE-4205, which is kind of strange. I don't know if there's any other turret inside the game that does that. Let me know, actually, if you know of any other turret that once you... Is it not turret, gun. Once you <laughs> use the big gun on the vehicle, you actually kind of limit the turret traverses. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else like that. Unfortunately, that one goes into the ground. Some it's not the best marksmanship by Mustiff with that shot, but I mean, so far, amazing stuff. It's kind of like a shooting range over there in front of Mustiff at the moment. The SDLV, the SMV, the Centurion, the G-Saw. Lovely stuff. Also shutting down the G-Saw earlier, which I did not mention because I was too busy talking about the guns over here. Uh, but yeah, so on the Conway, I think both guns are viable. Both guns have their ups, their... their, their, their oh my goodness, that one went between the turret and the hull. They have the strong points, have their weak points. So it basically depends on your playstyle. There's no good gun and bad gun on the Conway, in my opinion. Both of them are lovely guns that, like I said, it depends on your playstyle. If you feel like you want the uh, the higher DPM, you want to have those APCR rounds for the better shell velocity, uh, go with the smaller gun. If you want the chunky boy damage, you want the, you know, hash rounds, 770 alpha. Uh, you want the bigger caliber to maybe overmatch some vehicles with the regular AP rounds that the bigger gun has, go for that 140, 5.5 .5 inch, right? I don't know if it's 140, but I'm just making some numbers up. I believe it is something like that, though. Um, <laughs> you can go with that one as well. Lovely stuff over here. And you can just see the lovely DPM that this vehicle has with the smaller gun. 
Okay, so it must have so far up to 2,929 damage in this battle. Three kills and just very decent shooting over here. And like I said, kind of like a shooting range at the moment. Uh, getting some shots out towards very long distance targets and connecting most of them. So lovely stuff by Mustiff. And the team is up by two vehicles. The HP difference is just, it's minimal. Game is looking okay. Okay, so Mustiff just still aiming towards the cap circle, not knowing whether to go after the G-Saw, whether to go after the MX-30, going after the G-Saw, but in one 495 damage round into the G-Saw, that was a juicy, a very, my goodness, you can't uh, check out the stuff, right, 400 damage, um, Alpha, getting 495 is definitely a very juicy roll over here, almost a max roll with the Conway's smaller 120mm calibre gun. And yeah, usually when you sit in this position, you do get caught out, like uh, must have did get caught out at the start. But when you shut down the light tank, this position just becomes so strong. You can shoot towards the center of the map, you can shoot towards the people at the back where the TVP is. You can actually go and shoot the BZ if you like as well. Uh, so this position is very nice for a tank destroyer once you get rid of the light tank. If you still let them have a light tank, like they can just sit in the bushes over here, spot you every single time you fire. So you don't want that, but if the lighting is gone, this is a very nice position to have. You can also shoot towards the cap circle, right? Get the uh, the defense towards the center over here. But I think it's time to go forwards, Mustiff. The west is crumbling, it is collapsing, and it's only a BZ-176 towards the east over here. BZ pushing the G-Saw, and there we go. Mustiff notices that the BZ must go down or not. Oh yes, oh no, I don't know, Mustiff is falling back over here. Still not sure what to do, I guess. My goodness. My goodness, can't let the enemy team push through the west? We can't have that. It is time. VK falls. Sharfutter force spotted a nice clutch shot into the Sharfutter force back, so setting them on fire and actually finishing them off over here. Catching the Scorpion as well. Absolutely amazing couple of shots over here by Mustiff. So... Whew, even though we lost the VK towards the center position, still shut down the shaft here for a very dangerous tier 9 French auto-loading medium tank. Um, and yeah, this this game is very close. I mean, like I said, it's just anybody's game at the moment. It depends on who's going to make the plays. Who will make the plays to win this battle? But must have such a 4 kills, 4,800 damage so far in this battle by just basically sitting in this position and going into the shooting range, shooting everything in front of them. So, you know, sometimes that is the best option, right? Sometimes being aggressive, like Bavish does way too often and then gets caught out, uh, is not the right choice. Sometimes you just need to stay cool, stay calm, be in your good position and shut down, punish the enemy vehicles that make mistakes over here. BZ is down to 150. HP 149. What is Mustaf going to do? Actually switching to hash rounds. See if we can finish off this BZ with a hash round. No 87 damage only. But the second hash round should be enough to finish down that very dangerous tier rate Chinese heavy tank. Where's the BZ trying to catch the turret? That's <laughs> catching the, the gun, was it? I don't know. On the BZ 176. Finishing off the very dangerous tier 8 question mark. A Chinese heavy tank. Oh, no, but the West has fallen. Unfortunately, everyone who is over there is no longer in this battle. Down by two vehicles, down by 2,000 HP. The G-Saw is pushing towards that southern corner. Maybe switch to, the, to a hash round. Put one into the G-Saw. Staying with the APCR auto-aim. Get the shots out into the G-Saw, putting them down to 700 HP. My goodness, they're getting pushed, but the base is being captured as well. One minute left on the cap over here. There's an Amex 30, there's a G-Saw. There's another, there's two G-Saws, right? The 1,008 and the 1,010 going together towards the south over there. A very healthy Moissian and a couple of one-shots is all Mustaf has on their team. What are they going to do? Waiting, hoping that the enemy team sends forwards the G-Souls trying to catch them out of position. Where is the enemy team? Is the G-Saw actually going to push? The MX-30 is spotted. The Skrillity is spotted towards the center as well. Can we shut down this MX-30? He's a one-shot. Definitely do need to finish off the very dangerous tier 9 and 8 vehicles over here. The Scorpion is spotted in the cap cycle. 
uh, exactly at what i had i didn't think that one was going to hit but apparently the scorpion g is falling over here the g so spotted towards the center of the mx30 the skoda is actually rushing forward so you need to watch out from that one but finishing off the mx30 as well the skoda is pushing forward the skoda can shoot two shots um the massive in this situation you can't get hit can't get hit by the skoda two times oh no he has 920 alpha damage average damage with those two shells he can't actually there we go absorbed by the track and that means that Ness Unless must have set on fire, and he did not get set on fire. That Skoda is going to fall, my goodness. Getting the shots absorbed, the shot absorbed over here, was just, it was needed. And if that didn't happen, this would have been game over. For Mustiff in the Conway. Absolutely ridiculous stuff. Absorbing the first shot by the Skoda T56, and that means we are left on a 384 HP against three of the enemy's vehicles. Whew. Where's that GSL 1008? Where's that very dangerous tier 8? British tank destroyed the GSL 1010, 10, 10, 10. Spotted towards the south. The moisture unfortunately misses, but we're down to only hash rounds. Oh my goodness, another one that will pent. Will not pen the side of the GSL 1010. Can we finish off the GSL 1010? Can't let them survive. There we go, there's a shot we needed against the tier 8. British world medium, but there's also the 1008 that has that 1200 damage auto loading gun by right? 300 uh, damage every two seconds if i'm not mistaken can we find the sh feather the shot against the gsaw there it is into the side of the turret finishing off the gsaw 1008 my goodness 3v1 against the tvp should be should be quite easy right this should be quite easy but the tvp can actually run away so you need to watch out there's only three and a half minutes left on this battle the mx30 is going after the tvp but the mx30 is is a one shot the AP MX 30, of course, that here rate premium French medium tank. Ooh, what is the TVP going to do? We actually need to pen a couple of shots, need to pen a couple of shots over here, but it's not going to be very easy. Um, against the TVP, I mean, you can do that if you can catch the side of the TVP, not very heavily armored, but if it's the front. 120 millimeters of penetration that might not be enough to go through the vehicle. And there it is, spotted towards the north over there. Just wait in the bush. Wait for the TVP. There it is. TVP is going back after the MX-30 into the side of the turret. Unfortunately, missing. That means that we are spotted over here. The TVP is looking after the MX-30. Can we get it? There we go. One to the side. 150 damage, which is an average roll, right? Yes, it is. Can we pen the lower plate of the TVP? We can indeed. Amazing. Amazing stuff. By Master over here, getting 7,959 damage with 11 kills. Just, you know using whatever this is the, this shooting range over here right of enemy vehicles so many vehicles destroyed over here the scorpion the shah the g saw the people at the back like the dsmv tvp centurions it's like everyone decided to just sit in front of mustiff and let the gun do the talking uh but yeah even when everyone sits in front of you you still need to know who to shoot at you still need to know who to prioritize when to go forwards, when to stay at the back. And must have did that to perfection. Literally <laughs> bouncing, like absorbing the Skoda T56. That could have been a disaster, actually. But, you know, you do need a bit of luck. You do need a bit of luck as well uh, to get those amazing games in World of Tanks. And yeah, GG, amazing game by Mustaf over here. Let's go and check out the post game stats to see exactly how amazing this game was. There we go, easy ace tank for the 1646 base experience and a bunch of ribbons over here, a pulse medal for destroying at least 10, in this case 11, enemy vehicles, a high caliber for the 8200 damage done over here, top gun obviously for 6 kills at least, almost a double top gun over here, um, finishing first by everything of course with just an amazing game, 34 shots fired, 28 hit, 22 of those penetrated but i mean two of those didn't penetrate against the bz which actually finished the bz off so and the g saw which okay um yeah four of those did splash damage against the g saw against the bz um like we said 8200 damage done 6000 of that was from a distance of more than 300 meters um like i said this that was basically like a shooting range for the conway over here three has received two of those penetrated one did not that one non-penetration was the absorbed shot 
um, from the Skrilla T56 that just kept Mustafa in this battle for long enough to get the win. It's, it's just crazy. Crazy stuff. 12 vehicles damaged, 11 of those were subsequently destroyed by Mustafa with 1024 assisted damage, tracking some of the vehicles at the start of the battle. Also getting 23 defense points, shooting towards the Cap Circle against the G Saw, against the Scorpion, against the Sharfit 4, getting some defense points as well. Not traveling too much. I mean, 1.6 kilometers is is a nice amount for a tank destroyer. Uh, but he, he didn't really need to travel too much, right? When you can just sit and farm everything in front of you. Yes, so uh, even making a small profit over here with all of the gold fired, right? There was a lot of gold rounds fired over here. Just mainly APCR. A few AP rounds as well, a few hash rounds as well at the end after running out of APC on AP, but still making a small profit even with resupplying the consumables, so that is lovely stuff over here. Uh, 4,938 experience earned with the, uh, the boosts and everything, still a chalky amount of XP, 246 free XP earned as well in this 12 minute 23 second battle. Um, so yeah, massive GG, well played, amazing stuff. With the Conway, the little brother of one of my personal favorites, like I said, I'm going to say it again, the FV405, go and get that vehicle, people, and enjoy life. <laughs> but yeah, this is it for this video. So as usual, let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the FV404 Conway? Is it good? Bad? Decent? Enough? Maybe which gun we're using while grinding this vehicle? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. And as usual, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell us people, have a good one.